Now, in order to eat and drink, we need lots of different things, but particularly we need a swallowing mechanism. So we need the muscles and the nerves in our throats to work so that we can swallow things. And we often don't think about this because we do it so naturally. So I'm gonna play this video and show you what a non-impaired swallow might look like. So we can see the person is chewing the food, so we can see that movement and then they swallow, so it pushes it to the back and it goes down, it closes off the airway and goes down the pipe at the back, down into the person's stomach, which is exactly what we want it to do. And there's a little bit of residue, there's a little bit left, they do a second swallow and that clears what is in their mouth. So if I saw this person in a clinic, I wouldn't be worried. This is an example of what we might call a disordered or an impaired swallow. So this is with a drink and we can see that there's a lot more of that fluid hanging around coming up here. Then the second swallow doesn't come until that liquid has pooled quite a lot in that person's throat. And what you can also see is a little trickle down the front of the person. It looks like it's down the front of their neck. It's actually inside that pipe that goes down into the lungs. So that's what we call aspiration. That's when we talk about the food or the drink going the wrong way, going down into that person's lungs. And it all looks a little bit more messy. It doesn't look as coordinated and looks a little bit more effortful when we're seeing that person swallowing. So that's what we'd call an impaired swallow.